Hey guys, today I decided to do a room tour video, another room tour update. And it's been so long since I've done like a room tour video that takes place during the day. So I apologize for the glare, the windows and stuff like that on my posters, but um, just bear with me. I decided just to do one just because I have free time today, so why not? And as you guys can see, I have wooden floors now. So yeah, before then I used to have carpet and now I have wooden floors, which I'm not too crazy about, to be honest. I think having wooden floors is cool, but I do recommend carpet if you're like collecting a bunch of action figures like I used to back in the day. If I had wooden floors now and still have this huge collection that I had way back in 2018, would have been a problem. So yeah, but let's just get started. I'm really proud of how this room turned out. It just represents me and my interests and what I'm into and stuff like that. So let's just get started. Mostly this room is more, I guess, 90s and 2000s inspired. So let's just get started with my desk right here, my gaming setup and my workspace. Uh, what you see is what you get. Dual monitors, uh, two speakers right there, keyboard, mouse, um, coffee cup with the coaster. And this is the Diamond Select Rogue bust from X-Men the Animated Series. So yeah, Rogue is my favorite character along with Cyclops. So there's that. And she looks really cool. And as you guys can see here, you got my boxes of comics. So yeah, and these boxes by the way are not meant for <laughs> storing comics. They're more for like filing documents or papers or whatever but they're more like filing boxes but they work well with comics and they're not ruining the comics in any way shape or form and plus all these comics that i have are freshly you know or, or newly bag and board so yeah and this is just basically what's left of my comic collection and to be honest like i and i started collecting comics again at the same time too but I only picked up the ones that mattered to me, what I loved and all that. So you have DC, you have your Batman, your Superman, Wonder Woman. Um, and I was a big Justice League reader, especially um, Grant Morrison's JLA run in the 90s. So, yeah. And then for Marvel Comics, for those who know me personally or online or who've been following me, my big three for Marvel has always been the Fantastic Four, X-Men, and Spider-Man. With a few characters in between, like She-Hulk, you know, the John Byrne run of She-Hulk. I have, like, at least the first 15 issues of those. And um, I have a complete Silver Sable um, run from the 90s. So, her solo run. But yeah, if you guys can see this blue block, it's a door stopper. But, yeah. And there's my comics. Pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the collection I have amassed. If that's even the right way to say it, but yeah. As you guys can see here, here's a gaming uh, chair mat. Gaming, yeah, gaming chair mat. Just to have, just because having a gaming chair on one floor just makes a lot of noises when you're rolling around or sliding around, so there's that. And I got a new Secret Lab uh, Titan chair, which is an older model anyways, which is the Model 2020, so it was on sale, but yeah, I needed a new gaming chair, and there you go. <laughs> and we move to my desk right here. Sorry for like this harsh lighting, but right here, um, this is the McFarlane Toys DC Superpowers Batman, which I did do a review on, and I will admit I was a bit critical or maybe a little bit harsh in the review, but I was just being objective. It was warranted just because, you know, um, it, it's good to have a pair of, you know, fresh ideas or a conversation, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, rather than just praising the figure and um, looking at it through rose-colored lenses or being nostalgic about it, it's good to have an objective, an objective view of it. But yeah, I, I still think it's McFarlane's best attempt of recreating like a toy line from the 80s. So this Batman is McFarlane's best attempt. Got a clock right here. It's 11 in the morning on a Saturday. And 
a, a pre-built PC, which I swapped parts out with. Um, I swapped a new GPU, uh, a new CPU fan, new power supply, stuff like that, new RAM, but yeah. And as you guys can see, a TV right there, you guys can see myself, the TV looks a bit dirty, I gotta wipe that off, but uh, my Blu-ray, my decade-old Blu-ray, and a nine cube organizer, or nine cube storage shelf so there's that and i have this playmates toys uh tomb raider this is like a 10 inch 12 inch figure which um i got a good steal on it i got a good steal or i got i got it for a good price let's just say that like i paid 30 dollars for this and she was complete too but she just did not have the box she still had the plastic tray and the twisty ties attached to the plastic tray so I lucked out on this one so yeah the Playmates toys a uh, 10 inch 12 inch uh Laura Croft in her jungle outfit as they call it so yeah pretty happy I would love another Tomb Raider game but we'll see where it goes because Laura Croft is dearly missed in the gaming world or gaming industry at least classic Lara. And we have Tekken Tag Tournament 2, uh, Tekken Bishoujo statue by Code Bakia, Nino Williams. Nino Williams is my favorite video game character of all time. She's my favorite fighter in Tekken. She's my main, basically. So, yeah, I just decided to leave her in the box. I don't know. I thought she just looked way better in the box than she did outside. Uh, you have a subwoofer for my speakers for my computer. And you have another pair of or a subwoofer for another pair of speakers for my TV. As you guys can see, you have um, books right here. You got a Penguin Classics Amazing Spider-Man book by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. Complete Sherlock Holmes, uh, you know, book <laughs> series that I got from Barnes & Noble. Because I got these four, like, recently. Like, at least a month or so ago because they had the whole buy one get one half off deal so Jane Austen Little Women the Iliad and the Odyssey and then mythology and we have pencil boxes which just contains like household items or stuff like you know chargers um, wires HDMI cables stuff like that but yeah not really interesting and uh, a waste basket and right here, um, I did a, re a video recently of my DVD and Blu-ray collection. So you guys could check that out on my channel. And on top of here, it's just a fan, a lamp, and a, a fake bonsai tree. Oh, and I, I don't know if I showed my poster already. It's a framed poster of um, X-Men the Animated Series. I'm pretty unsure of how Disney, how well Disney would do the X-Men, the, the, the revival, X-Men 97, I believe. Fun fact, I was born in 97, but this is my favorite Marvel cartoon of all time. So, yeah, X-Men the Animated Series meant a lot to me growing up. I love it more than Spider-Man the Animated Series, the 90s cartoon, but both are just as good. But yeah, that's just my preference. And as you guys can see here, sorry for the glare, but you have my Super Friends uh, poster, which, you know, I know this show is more of the 70s and 80s, but it, there was reruns of the show in the 90s for Cartoon Network, but I was a bit too young. But in the 2000s, which I grew up in, you know, for the most part, you know, like, in a sense, like, once I started being aware of my surroundings and things, um, the Super Friends would always premiere on reruns on Boomerang. So, yeah, I love the Super Friends. Like, this show and Justice League Unlimited are, like, my gateway into the DC Universe, and they're one of the reasons why I love uh, comics and superheroes in general, and why I'm more of a DC guy than a Marvel guy. But, like I said, um, I love both, but this one... Uh, this show left a mark on my childhood and just, yeah. <laughs> and then now we turn around, we got my bed, 
just a bed, nothing too crazy. A Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Poster, which Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, uh, sorry for the glare. This is the Spyro Reignited Trilogy poster. Spyro and Crash Bandicoot are my favorite video game series of all time growing up. My first console ever was a PS1, so. And yeah, they're my favorites. And even though these are the remakes or whatever, they're still characters or their game series did originate from the 90s, so. <laughs> There's that. You got my uh, lamp shelf right here which has the Spyro Reignited Trilogy statue by First Four Figures, I believe. Uh, this pencil cup, which also serves as a phone holder, and you have like this little pocket pouch thing for my to rest my glasses on. Uh, water bottles, uh, Blu-ray remote, and a Roku TV remote. A Crash Bandicoot 4 uh, statue by Numskull. So, there's that. A futon. A uh, coffee table, which stores uh, an extra pillow and two blankets, which is a Spider-Man blanket and underneath the Spider-Man blanket is a PS1, you know, like schematic or layout of the console blanket. So, there you go. And you have uh, the, my pretty much, one is my favorite cartoon of all time, and one is my favorite anime of all time. So, Ed and Eddie and Cowboy Bebop. And one of the funniest things about Ed and Eddie is that I don't remember the tagline being puberty is unforgiving. Maybe it was a lost media, maybe it was in a bumper that's that people have yet to find or discover. I have no idea because the tagline is um, trademarked. So... But I don't remember that being the tagline any of the Ed and any bumpers or anything like that. I could be wrong, but I, I find that strange. But still, this is the only officially licensed poster for Ed and Eddie. And Ed and Eddie is my favorite cartoon of all time. So there's I grew up watching Ed and Eddie, loved it as a kid. I still love it now as an adult. And it technically is a 90s show because it came out in 99, but the rest of the series was in the 2000s. And then you have Cowboy Bebop, which easily my favorite anime of all time. I'm sure it's a lot of others people's favorite anime of all time, but I just love the aesthetic and the world of Cowboy Bebop. And yeah. And you got another lamp, a nightstand, a Cowboy Bebop. You know, Papa Parade figure statue of Spike. And you got a bulletin board which still has like 10 signs from uh, my past videos that you've seen, like coffee and a Betty Page one. I just got them there just to have. I might still figuring out what to do with this bulletin board. And you got a little pennant or a flag of the four year college I attended to. Mirror, my mirror closet. And my diplomas, so my bachelor's, three associates, high school printer, and a box right here that just stores uh, miscellaneous stuff, so yeah. Right here, duster. This right here was supposed to be my car keys, I think I left it downstairs, and then a back scratcher, don't ask, and the door, the entrance, and that's pretty much it, guys. This is pretty much my room tour. I'll see you guys next time.